Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is EJ Pilar. I'm from the Philippines. I'm a filmmaker and today we will be opening up my razor blade base model 2020 and upgrading the SSD. Let's go! Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be upgrading the SSD on my computer. And the SSD that I bought is the SanDisk 1TB SSD. It is on sale on Best Buy for $89.99. I think it is the cheapest and bang for your buck SSD for Black Friday. Be sure to check that out. Link in the description if you want to check it. Be sure to buy the M2 SSD because there's another one which is bigger and won't fit the laptop. This SSD won't come in with screws. And also you need a T5 screwdriver, link in the description for that. Just take out all the screws and be sure not to lose them. It will be very easy to take out once you take all the screws out. I was easily able to take it out. This is my first time upgrading a laptop and I was successful in upgrading it. Before touching anything, you have to unplug the battery just to be safe. Be sure the computer is turned off. It is located in the right side corner, like the bottom corner, close to the battery. It will take some force to take it out. I used the T5 screwdriver to take it out. I don't know if there's a better way to take it out. Please let me know in the comments down below. Once the battery is out, you can start working on putting on the SSD. Just unscrew the screw and then to put it in you have to angle it on a 30 degree angle and then push it and you know that you did it right if it sticks and you're not holding it and once that's done just push it down and then screw it back over so when you screw in the SSD make sure that you're gentle with it that it won't lose thread or else it will be hard for you to take it out if you want to upgrade again and once you're done with that, you can just plug in the battery again. I use the T5 screwdriver again. Just let me know if I'm doing it wrong. This is my first time. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I'll be happy to help you out or somebody in the comments can help you out. So once you're done, you can go back to your computer, log in, and then search up disk management and do what I'm doing here. Right click on the SSD and then click new sample and then just install it. And you can rename whatever you want for this SSD and that's it, you're done.